Yeah, because this article, this article, we're in the middle of a live stream. This article is not worth the theme song, the writing crop. No, Hollywood producers, white men don't have to be in everything, especially Jay Farewell. You know what, Rachel Eichmann? Are you one year old? Are, are you a baby? Are you, a to are you new to the planet? Did you just get here? Because that's what it seems like. A lot of these people have never seen anything. Ever. They just assume that every movie ever made was all white men. And it's, it's disappointing. It's disgusting. And I'm tired. I'm tired of swatting flies like this and correcting them and, and dealing with this every week, every week, every week. It seems like they're, they're doing something stupid. And, and what the problem is, like I've been saying in the live stream chat here, what the problem with articles like this and, and people like this, and you know, get this, get this bitch off my screen. Go away. What the problem with people like that is, is that they say something like that. And then stupid people hear that and assume, oh, yeah, there's too many white men in things. There's too many white people. White people suck. And then they go on and on and on. And that incites prejudice against a certain ethnic group. Right? Right? And that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I am all about equality unless you're a dumb idiot I writing for Mary Sue. And then I'm going to call you on your shit. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck Cuda, thank you so much. You're a good egg. Have fun in Vegas. You're in it. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. We're on the middle of the live stream here. When, when I see people like the Mary Sue writers, whose only existence is to trash and, and nag and preach and bully and bash people, just an entire group of people. I have to call them out. I have to call them out. And I, and of course I never go to them. I never go and tweet at them. I never, I never go and leave comments on their site. I don't do any of this stuff. I make a video using my right and my freedom of speech to express my opinion on how stupid I think their opinion is. Now they're entitled to it. I don't agree with it. I think they're dumb as crap for having it, but they're entitled to it. What is dangerous, though, is that when dumb people hear this and repeat it, this is the same thing that happens with the Star Wars articles. <laughs> Don't be just primate. Equality also means equality to be judged and idiot. <laughs> Thank you so much, loquacious primate. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. And I know people probably say, oh, you're just a hothead. You just yell and you swear all the time. Yeah, I'm a hothead. Yeah, I yell and I swear sometimes. But I also don't like putting up with this. This is one of those behaviors that if we could never have this ever again, our planet would just blossom, right? If we had a rule in the media where any article that takes a shot at white men or any ethnic group in general, anytime you do that and you like legit have it in writing, in writing that they're actually legit taking shots at people. Before the cries are now telling me I'm the real racist here. Well, you kind of are. You kind of are. I'm white. Yeah, I know. We're represented plenty. You know that? Yes, you're, you're absolutely right. Are you the right person to tell other pe white people that they suck? No, no, you're not. No, you're not. What you need to do is you need to get out, get your head out of your ass, Rachel Leishman. You're very white with a Jewish sounding last name. Just pointing that out. But you're, you're, you can you can identify however you choose, right? When you put this type of information out there and you're offended on behalf of other people rather than saying, hey, I'm going to celebrate their diversity. Why can't you just say, hey, good for you. You're hiring Asians. Why do you have to take shots at other people when you're when you're preaching and celebrating the fact that, yes, you're getting some Asian uh, Asian films? Great. I'm happy. I'm happy. That's wonderful. We need more people making films representing their viewpoint and that includes all viewpoints that includes every you know we, we, we need more programs in place and here I'm gonna I'm gonna say this this is I think this is what Brie Larson was trying to say as well where we need more people of all walks of life being able to make criticize act in direct films what we don't need is people saying Scarlett Johansson can't play any character that she's offered the job to play Right, we don't need that. She's not taking jobs from people. The fact that a movie is being made that has one ethnic group over the other is not taking away from anyone else's ability to make a movie. We're beyond this. 
grow up Rachel Leishman. We're beyond this. We've we had people like Blade and superhero movies for years. We had the Joy Luck Club in the fucking 90s for crying out loud. If you really really want to get into representation. We have representation of all walks of life. As long as I can remember. And I was born in 79. I'm an old person. We have always had that. When I was a kid, every TV show I watched had people that didn't look like me. And I never felt weird or different. I saw the Jeffersons or Good Times or any of these shows. Welcome back, Hotter. Different strokes. I saw shows with people who might not have looked like me, but I didn't think anything of it. The Cosby Show. And I know you're not allowed to like Bill Cosby now, but the Cosby Show still was a decent example back in the 80s of, of representing people in a positive light. Right? You had a very well-to-do family. Much, much richer than I was. I was closer to the Bundys. I was actually closer to Roseanne and the Bundys, as far as my income level was. We already have this. We're beyond this. Stop being an idiot. Stop inciting people to, to, be, to be at each other's throats. I'm tired of this. I am so tired of this. And I know you guys are tired of this, too. Right? Well, let me, let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. Kenneth Sungard. I'm not black, yet Will Smith is one of my biggest heroes as a kid. Exactly, exactly. I'm not, I mean, um, all, of my favorite, all of my favorite role models are not necessarily white women. Right? I, I have many people on Babylon 5 I admire greatly. Yes, I respect Ivanova and I look up to her, of course. I also look up to Dr. Jackson on, on Stargate SG-1. I would love to live my life closer to how he is. He is probably the most open-minded sort of character ever, and he's played by a white male, you know, who married an Asian woman in real life, right? You, you, you have, you have, we're, we're beyond this shit. We don't, I'm, I'm a Star Trek fan. There are aliens that don't look or act or sound anything like any of us idiots on this planet. We're all a bunch of evolved apes, right? We, we all stand stick our junk inside other people or bury our faces in each other's genitals. We all take giant shits inside of a closet in our, in our house, right? And just the fact that it flushes away doesn't mean we're not all just animals. We're all apes. We can evolve past this. We're better than this as a species and I'm tired of this stuff. Oh my God, I'm tired of this stuff. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm just, I'm not ending yet. I'm going to throw on my end screen and I'm going back to my live chat. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.